Hey guys, Automotive Garage back today. We are here with a third gen Cummins with the 5.9 in it. Come in for a vibration noise and he's here noticing it more when he puts it in gear. Um, and we also came in for an oil leak, which they're both connected to each other. So let me turn around here and show you what we got going on. So like I said, 07 came in for an oil leak. Oil leak is the turbo drain back that comes down here. We've already got it off. Very simple to pull off, just two bolts. Uh, the only hard part to it was getting the old dried up crusty gasket off the bottom of the turbo. You get two O-rings on the bottom. Uh, so we got a new one of those to put on. But what this oil leak has caused is if you look at that motor mount, it's totally degraded. You can see how much it's come apart. And that oil has just broke down that rubber and caused it to fail. And if you notice what the vibration noise is, look at his oil pan there. Get you here on the other side. That oil pan is sitting on the cross member there, which it is a close fit anyways on these, but you can see we got room on the driver's side, sitting on the oil pan on the passenger side. So we're gonna show you how to go about uh, putting a new motor mount on here. We're gonna go on and do both of them. Um, figure it'd be the thing to do. So we'll show you doing this and uh, we'll throw that new drain back on here and that'll fix the oil leak here. We'll get the oil cleaned up on this frame. And uh, we are on a lift doing this. Now you could do this off of a lift using the same technique, only difference is you'd be on your back. So let's get busy here and I'll show you all uh, how we're gonna do this. So we're just gonna go on and get the main bolt. It's an 18 millimeter, busted loose. You got a nut on the back side. Get my hand up here. Not that it's really supported on this side right now anyway. I'll show y'all how we're doing that. So we got our floor jack and I don't want to pick the whole entire weight of the front of the truck up because we're on a lift here. We got to be careful not to unbalance our load here. So all I want to do is take the free weight of the motor and just pick this one passenger side up. Got a four by four block right here. We're on the corner of the block where the uh, air conditioner and the oil pan bolts are all that. We're, we're spreading the load out with our four by four here. So I'm gonna go on and jack it up, make it match the driver's side, basically. That right there looks about even. So as you can see now, we got pretty much an even gap, maybe just a little more on the passenger side, which is fine. So now we're gonna go after our other 15 millimeter bolts that are holding the, uh, there's three of them, holding the uh, motor mount on. And just to put this in perspective a little bit better, here is your, the new motor mount going on. So this is the top, it's got 115 up here, it's got two in the bottom. So these lower two are gonna be the easiest to get to, the upper one's a little more of a challenge. So the way I'm going after the top bolt, you probably can't see it. You barely catch it there. I've got my 15 millimeter ratchet wrench coming right out the top there. I'm gonna go through the fender well over here, right over the tire. Get my hand up there, we're gonna break that loose and back it out that way. All right, we got our wrench on there. I got my helper buddy here. He's gonna bump it loose while I hold it. Yep. All right, ratchet it. So there's your three 15 millimeter bolts we took out. The top one, just a little bit of a slow go because you can't really get a good angle on it and so you're just getting a little bite. You go about a quarter turn at a time with a wrench from the bottom here because once, <coughs> once you start backing it out, your wrench is gonna start hitting the frame because of the angle that it's coming at. So that's how I got that one out. So now we can go on and get our 18 millimeter bolt out and get the whole shebang out of here. Now 
There it is. And that bolt it actually has a cutout for it. Which you don't, can't really see. Look right there at the top. There's a cutout for the bolt. But of course you can't raise it up high enough. All right, we're going in with our new one. And it appears that I need to go up more with the motor. So maybe I'll start these 15s on the bottom first. Get these snugged up just a little bit. And then we can go up with the motor just a little bit more. Now we can see what we got to do. Get our balls in there. Looks like go in there now. And I was wrong on our clearance on that cross member. It's significantly more than what I thought it would be. I should, I should get the top one started before I put the weight back down on it. So we'll do. All right, so I reevaluated my technique here. I took the two lower bolts back out. I took the uh, the 18 millimeter back out. I held the motor mount in my hand with the top bolt started. Went in there, moved it around till I felt the bolt fall into the hole. I took these two fingers and I just got it started. So the top one is is the not fun one to do. So that was my technique for that because. The hole wasn't quite lining up because evidently the motor has shifted back just a little bit. So we're going to see what we got to do about pushing and prying a little bit to get these two lowers started. But that's way easier because you can actually see the holes there. All right, we got all of our bolts in. I tightened all the 15s up. I got to tighten up the, uh, the 18 millimeter bolt that goes all the way through now. So let me do that. We'll set this motor down. I'm going to throw that uh, drain back on and uh, we'll have this done. All right, we are all back together. New turbo drain back on, motor mount on, everything tightened up. And I mean, would you look at how much room there is for activities now in between here? Looks so much better. Got lucky to mess that oil pan up. It would ended up rubbing through it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video on throwing a motor mount on this third gen Cummins. I figured it might be a common problem for y'all with that turbo drain back uh, tube leaking there. And that oil just degrades that rubber, breaks it down. So look out for that, not too hard to replace driver's side is same as the passenger side uh, only difference over there instead of working on the turbo you're working on the steering stem and everything else coming down so anyways hope this helped y'all out go check out the channel got a whole lot of diesel content on here mainly power stroke cummins and uh ford stuff but check it out we appreciate y'all check us out at instagram and rumble automaticgarage.com we'll holler at y'all later